In this video we show you how to model a grain in MapleSim and how to export this model and visualization to BNR Automation Studio. First we import the CAD data of the grain. Then we put parts together that move together. Once all the parts are assembled, we define coordinate systems. With the help of these coordinate systems, we can handle the parts later in the workspace. When all coordinate systems are defined, the parts can be imported. We can drag and drop the imported parts into our workspace. With the help of the multibody library, we can fix the parts in place and connect them with the appropriate joints. When all parts are connected, we can start to design the drives. To do this, we open the 1D motion generation and create our curve. Once the demanded motion profile is created, we import it. Back in the workspace, we can use the created motion profile to drive the joint of the trolley. When all motion profiles are set, we can run the simulation. The visualization of the simulation can be shown in the 3D playback window. We see the motion of the crane and the profile of the force that is re required to drive the bridge with this velocity profile. To prepare our model for the FMU export we use long reel as input and output values. We will export an FMU with the BNR Automation Studio FMU generation. We select the grain as subsystem, set the solver and the task class cycle time, we select all shapes and export the FMU. In Automation Studio, we insert the FMU like a library. We set the right task class and install. Then we open the watch and activate the crane function block and the visualization function block. The scene viewer file can be found in the library directory. Double click on the scene viewer and activate the communication. Now we can run the simulation in Automation Studio and visualize it in the scene viewer.